Psalms 34 and 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord Yahweh is, is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Oh, fear the Lord Yahweh, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. All right, what I just said, interpret, was bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh being the father and the son name is Yahweh Shai. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I want to make a quick point real quick. Uh, before I make that point, I'm in the book of Psalms 34. This is one of the uh, Psalms of uh, King David. All right, which is uh, great tools and things we can we use. All right, we need to use to endure in this truth all the way to the end. All right, this message, this word is given to the Lord's whole for elect. All right, and the rest is going to be condemned. So before I read, I want to make a statement on, um, well, make a point, Salakia, just make a quick point on this Nick Cannon thing. You know, I was watching a few videos and this week seems to be the topic about Nick Cannon you know, catching hell for speaking some truth. I say some truth because he wasn't accurately speaking the truth, but it was of the truth. Okay, it was of some truth, all right? Because melan melanin has nothing to do with us being the chosen people, okay? Melanin is just what the Lord put inside man, all right, so that he can, you know, get vitamin, uh, what is it, E, all right, from the sun. OK, so melanin has nothing to do with uh, being of the Lord's chosen. Now, being of the seed, the seed of your father, being a Hebrew Israelite has everything to do. And the only thing to do with you being a chosen. All right. We understand when you read the scriptures, the Lord. All right. Uh, made a promise with our forefathers, which was from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. Not Esau. So the quick common sense point I want to make, because there was a particular YouTuber and radio show I listen in from time and you know the guy he know and, he, and his audience knew because he had him calling in they know you know that Nick Cannon was speaking truth right and you and they knew and they even said you know that why is you know they want him to shut him up for what he's saying why is he being persecuted when he was speaking the truth you know well the question is what is the truth Nick Cannon's truth, what he was try, striving to explain, was that we are the Hebrew Israelites. We're the chosen uh, children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, of the Bible, the God of Israel. And the so-called white man is Esau Edom, all right? We're the Hebrew Israelites. They're the Hebrew Edomites. So if he was being persecuted for that truth that he was speaking, then what's the truth? The truth that they don't want you to know is that we the Hebrew Israelites and they're the Hebrew Edomites. Point blank, period. All right, so let's get on with the lesson. This is Psalms 34 and 1. It says, a Psalm of David, when he changed, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away and he, and he departed, I will bless Yahweh at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. All right, and we come in the same spirit, those of the hopeful elect, we come in the same spirit of our King David, our King. All right. And um, verse two, my soul maketh, my soul make her boast in, in Yahweh. The, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. So the humble, the meek is going to be glad when we hear the word of Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai. It says, oh, magnify Yahweh with me and let us exhort his name together, showing you it's about his name. That's what we can. That's what we have. OK, to hold on to. That is our, what you could say, umbilical cord, our connection. All right. Our electricity. OK, our power is the name, man. It says, oh, magnify Yahweh with me and let us exhort his name together. I sought Yahweh. And he hurt me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. 
And that's right. We're not going to be ashamed of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. All right. The scriptures speak on how they stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. All right. And that was the elect. Because right now they're shaming all of these celebrities who's coming out and speaking of the truth. And they're not even making mention of the name of the Lord. They're just touching the surface, you know, just knowing the knowing part of who they are. You see, uh, what's that? Mark uh, 8 and 38. Yahweh Shai said, he that is ashamed of me, the Yahweh Shai shall be ashamed of him. And I'm roughly paraphrasing that. That's Mark 8 and 38. It says, they looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man crieth, and Yahweh heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. All right, and that's um, you know that that right there is heavy, okay? Because that is all right. That faith that we have toward Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and believing, okay? Because the Lord said the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them. So it says round about them that fear him. So the Lord angels are around, brothers. All right, because we truly fear the Lord, right? And how do we fear the Lord? It shows within the work. When brothers put their head out and their body out there, that will sort of say the world, say the neck out there, you know, as the scriptures say, the uh, Romans 12 and 1, give our body as a living sacrifice. That right there shows you the fear that the Lord's men have toward the Most High, okay? And delivereth them. This is why brothers were sent forth into the camps, to, on the highways and byways, okay? On the street, in the markets, dealing with all sorts of demons, man. It says, and taste and see that the that Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And you're going to truly see the Lord's men being blessed as more and more the Lord starts to break down Esau's kingdom toward his final end. Okay, his last few hour. All right, scriptures speak on, what's that, Revelation 18, how the Lord would destroy this place in one hour. All right, so, oh, taste and see that Yahweh is good. Because, yeah. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is good. All right. Good to the humble. It says, Bless is the man that trusteth in him. So, all you celebrities that tune in and, you know, like secret disciples, get the, get the right understanding. All right. Get the right understanding and trust in the Lord. You know, this message goes out to the elect, wherever you may be around the world, man. It says, Oh, fear Yahweh, ye his saints, who are the saints, the Israelites. We are. There's no Edomite, no so-called white man that's a saint. That's an Israelite. All right? Now, you're going to have Israelites that look like the other nations. Okay? You're going to have Israelites that look like Edomites, so-called white people, the so-called Jew. You're going to have Israelites that look like Hamites, which are the Africans that you call today. Okay? Ishmael. All right? And so on. Because Israel is scattered. Israel is like that speckled bird, all right? Confusion of face, all right? O fear Yahweh, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek Yahweh shall not want any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. And that's the beginning of uh, humbling yourself unto the truth. All right, the truth is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The truth is that we are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Okay, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Okay, the Deuteronomy 28th chapter talks about the Hebrew Israelites. All right, and the curses, the blessings, and the curses. It says, What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thou tongue from evil and thou lips from speaking gall. It says, depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. So the purpose is to depart from evil. Those of the whole four elect is going to depart from the evil and they're going to do good. It says, seek peace. What is it at the end of the day that we seek for? We're seeking peace, man. Peace unto our nation, Yasha Allah. Peace unto the elect. Okay? Peace on the earth, man, so that we don't be oppressed by the oppressor. Okay? Peace that we can actually live in the ordinance and the ways that the Most High designed us to do to do so man you know not under these draconian laws and and satanic uh, uh ways 
that these Edomites put upon us. With peace is the Lord taking Esau out. Okay? That's the truth. What's that? St. John 10 and 10. The devil, uh, uh, the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. All right? That, who that? That's Esau. It says, the eyes of the Lord, the eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open until their cry. All right? So that shows you the Lord is separate. He's not dealing with all black people. He's not dealing with all Hispanic people. All right? He's dealing with the righteous, which is the elect. And he's only hearing their prayers. The eyes of Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears are open until their prayers. All right? Because you got to understand that even Satan... Being that he's in power, okay, he can also give you blessings as well. And his blessings are cursed blessings, man. Because you might have the carnal riches today, but guess what? When the brightness of the Lord come, you're going to be destroyed. All right? Because you received your constellation. This is verse 16. The face of Yahweh is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And that's ultimately going to be Esau. All right? Because he... It's truly going to be cut off from the earth. You know, scriptures in Job speak on how he's going to be chased out of the world. All right. Just like he was before when he was pushed into the, uh, what's that, and rushed the uh, Caucasus Mountains, man. All right. Verse 17, the righteous cry in Yahweh heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. So there's nothing too hard for the Lord. You know, nothing. Whatever trouble we get into. That the Lord brings upon us, he makes a way for us to escape. This is the whole key of fearing the Lord and putting your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save if such as be of a contrite spirit. All right. And someone asked me earlier, was Nick Cannon could be the elect? You know, well, I'm going to say this because he apologized and, you know, and took back his, um, his first initial approach, you know, no, you know, but who am I to say who's who? You know, all I can say is that the hopeful elect, will, the Lord is going to deliver the elect, all right? Because really, you're supposed to trust in the Lord. This is what the Lord said, uh, verse 18, and Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. So who's the Lord near unto? Is he unto Nick Cannon or is he unto the poor men, all right? The men who everybody counts out. Right. When a poor man speak, nobody listens. But when a rich man speak, everybody give heed. Who is the Lord near, man? The Lord is near his elect. It says, Yahweh is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save if such as be of a contrite spirit. Now, just for edification's sake, I want to go into the word contrite. Dust, contrite, contrite, destruction, crushed, powder, contrite, destruction, very much crushed, broken, very small. And that's right. Paul said we are killed all the day long. Nay, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. So who's of a contrite spirit? The elect. All right. It says, verse 19, many are, of, many are the affliction of the righteous but Yahweh delivereth him out of all, out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And that's what the wicked don't understand. That the Most High created the wicked to destroy the wicked. All right, there's a balance in the earth. The Most High is a just weight. He's a just balance, man. Meaning he created good, he also created the evil. And he controls both sides. What takes out the evil? The wicked. What takes out the wicked? The evil. All right. So all of you um, sellouts, all right, that took that Judas purse, all right, that took that bag of money to sell your own people out, the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai is going to destroy you, man. It says, evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. So if you hate the men of the Lord, you're going to be desolate, man. Matter of fact, there's another scripture that says those that hate the Lord love, love death. All right. So you just love dying because you hate the Most High. You hate the Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It says 
Yahweh redeemeth the souls of his saint, of his servants, excuse me, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Let me read that one more time. Yahweh redeemeth the soul of his servants. You see, redeemeth the souls of his servants. Bear with me. To be ransomed, to ransom, to allow one to be ransomed, redeemed, rescued. You see that? Delivered. At all, at all, delivered. Surely, redeemed. You know, Salaki, I just, just looking words up. Now it says, Yahweh redeemeth the souls of his servants. All right, he delivers them. All right, it says, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. All right, none of us is, of the hopeful elect is going to be desolate, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.